Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. Hope you're doing well this morning. I'm going to invite some people in our group, and then I'll get started. And so... So I pray that you're doing well. It's a beautiful morning. It looks like it rained last night. And uh, so... Well, I was at a meeting last night and in Topeka and my daughter goes, I'm all alone. And so I got in my car and rushed home and sat in the uh, concession stand with her and had a good time. Um, just hanging out with my daughter uh, last night. So this morning's verse is Leviticus 19.18. Listen to this verse. Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone uh, anyone uh, but love your neighbor as yourself I am your Lord it literally um, the beginning it says do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone I think it's very important that we do that is don't bear a grudge or seek revenge um, against anyone you know if they get me I'm gonna get them you know what does that prove anyways you know the Bible says we should love our you know um, it doesn't do any good Um, but then it says, love your neighbor as yourself in Leviticus 19, 18. So I always, I always think this is funny is I always ask this when I come to this verse in my devotional time or when I'm preaching it in, in church, love your neighbor as yourself. So the question always comes up is who's your neighbor? And the first answer comes out is, oh yeah, that my neighbor is person around my house that's the simplest question that comes up and uh, I'm like yeah that's true it's your neighbor is like the one across the street or uh, behind your house or across the alleyway but isn't it true that your neighbor is wherever you're at that person that drives along the road is your neighbor or the one next to you in your uh, in the store is your neighbor or the person that is next to you in your office is your neighbor. And if that becomes your neighbor. And so I'm just thinking, if this passage says love your neighbor as you, yourself, um, that really puts that whole thing in perspective that we should be loving everyone as we love ourselves. And I was just thinking about that. I was thinking... That is a tall order to really love those around us as we love ourselves. But then the other question bears to be answered is how much do we love ourselves? Because I've been, as a youth pastor, as, as someone that worked with youth before, is the the issue of self-image and, and, you know, how, how much do I really like myself? And some people don't really like themselves. But then I think that, you know, God created you and, and how amazing God created a person and a human being. And, and why wouldn't we like ourselves? I mean, it took me a while to like myself um, growing up. So I'm thinking, okay, it took me a while, but I got to the point where I'm okay. I, I think I'm good and good to go. So now I, I think I'm good to go, and now I love my neighbor as myself. And even when they tick me off, and I'm like, okay. So that's a tall order, even when they're not very nice to me. 
I still need to love them. Not hate them, love them. I may distance myself from them so they can't hurt me or because uh, the word hate is actually a murderous word. I'm thinking, wow. So think about that. You want to murder someone when you say, I want them, you know, I hate you. You wish they were dead. Um, so think about those things, uh, the things that we say out of our mouth, out of our, the Bible says, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. Um, so it's very interesting. I, I just think about that this morning, about this one passage. And um, I know I'm missing a word because I can't read my handwriting. But um, it says, do not seek Leviticus. So get your notebook out. Write this verse out. It says, do not, Leviticus 19, 18, do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone. It says, and there's a word that I can't read in your people. But love your neighbor as yourself. At the end it says, I am the Lord. He puts a stamp at the end of this. I am the Lord. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. <coughs> and P, pray. Well, I found out yesterday that my brother-in-law is still in the hospital and they're trying to figure out what's... <coughs> going on so we're going to pray for him today his name is Jerry and uh, so let's pray for Jerry and then we're going to pray for Unspokens so let's pray Lord I thank you so much for today I pray um, Lord you are awesome this verse says love uh, your neighbor this very part, end of this verse it says love your neighbor as you as yourself um, help us to do that. Help us to love our neighbor. Lord, I pray that you will just be with Jerry today and heal his body and touch him, Lord God. Help the physicians and the doctors figure out what's going on with him. You are God. You can figure help them figure it out. I pray for the unspoken, Lord God, whatever they may be, Lord Jesus. Lord, whether it's finances or health or, Lord, numerous things, Lord, you know what it is. Reach down and minister to those needs. Lord, I thank you for that, Lord. I pray for today, Lord God, for those who are watching now, those who watch later. I pray that you help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with, Lord, and give us the opportunity to uh, present the gospel to somebody today. Lord, we love you and we praise you in your name. Amen. Well, hey, have an awesome day. Love you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. Have an awesome Wednesday. Be blessed. Love you guys.